Epoxy costs money, and quite a bit of it. And you would be surprised how much is actually left inside a jug of epoxy or hardener when it appears to be empty. Here's how I get all of my epoxy for my money. It's easy to pour a small amount into a, uh, a full jug, but that's easy. But there is a lot left clinging to the sides and the bottom of the jug, and to stand there and hold it for the length of time it would take it all to run into the new jug would be very tiresome indeed. Viscosity, you know. Here's the solution. After you used a few jugs, you should keep the caps. Usually the hardener caps are a different color from the resin caps, and you need two of each. Get a spade bit from the drill bit collection that's just a tad smaller than the inside diameter of the cap. Carefully drill out the cap so that all that is left basically is the wall of the cap, perhaps with a little ridge for strengthening. Do this with all four caps. Get some electrical tape and tape the two sets of caps together as seen in the photo here. When it comes time to drain a near empty jug, you can see from the photo how this is accomplished. Just screw the two jugs together. Put the full one on the bottom and the near empty one on top and go away for a day. When you come back there will be near nothing left in the near empty jug and you will be surprised how much has been added to the full one. Remember, epoxy costs money. Don't waste it.